so we'll be continuing with our modeling um, since I'm done with the first floor what I'm going to do is duplicate this so shift D okay then press 1 shift Z so we can see the height of the second floor shift Z again okay. Uh, let me just activate my uh, screencast keys. Alright, so here we can see that the height of the second floor, the ceiling is different and the floor is a bit uh, thin. So what I'm going to do is um, move the vertices from this side, this uh, bottom part of the floor and move it down. Okay, so uh, Shift Z, Tab, uh, go to Vertex, then uh, press B. Okay, then grab and Z. Alright, so if you would notice that I've been using the uh, Universal Gizmo. Uh, you can turn it on by clicking this okay i really can't get used to using the shortcut since i came from a maya background so uh, i just kept using the universal um transform uh it's a lot easier for me actually so uh, you can you can use it so you're free to actually use whatever makes it a lot um, comfortable to your part to do the modeling okay so in this part of the model we would see that this elevation is different right and this one is also different um, the second floor also has a gap on this side right then there's a space here that we need to cut in our um, second floor Alright, so um, I think for now I'll just leave it as is. Okay. Or, or it's just a uh, perspective issue or something. So I'll just leave it as is. Okay. Um, if I change the elevation of this particular part of the floor, I would have to make adjustments all throughout the inside okay so uh, for me it's a lot easier to just let it uh, stay as is then I'll just make an adjustment later okay so in this part of the wind of the second floor we need to uh, make sure that we could do a cut away in this side so shift Z So, we have to think of what to do with the cutaway. Um, I think it will be best to just, you know, um, use the edge loop. So, control R. Then, cut away here on this side, I think. Um... Uh, we don't have to uh, what we need to actually do is extend the window uh, extend this particular floor because this is a full floor this part okay so what we can do here is select the spaces tap and uh, delete the um, the faces then extrude it Right. Press seven so we could see it very well. We're going to merge the vertices on this uh, part. Then extrude. Then drag. Right. So now we have a roof over our uh, building. Okay. Um. I think we have to do the same on that part. 
Alright, so we're going to select this. Uh, we have to delete this first. Uh, delete those faces. Select these faces. And extrude. And extrude again. Make sure that we fit it. Okay. Then, um, what we can do instead of um, merging everything, uh, merging the vertices one by one, we could try and use the merge tool. So select, so press L, then press M uh, by distance. So merge by distance. All right, then uh, press 1 so we can try and see if it actually merged. So it didn't. Okay. So the thing here is when we extruded, there's actually faces inside the um, extrusion. So what we need to do is delete this. Uh, you need to go inside the extrusion so go in click this and that then extrude your face now uh, if, if you see certain parts of your model that somehow is not aligned just try to fix it okay, so press 3 like so Okay, shift Z again. Okay, so now we have a roof. Okay, then let's try to do another merge. So press M. So by distance, then increase the number of, uh, increase the value. Right, then let's try and select. So in here, okay. so that's just the bottom of the pillar. So uh, the reason why we need to merge this is because we want that there will be no errors when we um, do some uh, rendering. Okay, so let's see the bottom. So let's just go to the uh, uh, viewport shading, okay. solid mode. Um, all right, so I think it actually worked. So let's go to the front, Shift Z, and we need to uh, create this side of the wall. Okay, so what we need to do now is delete this walls all right so press one shift c um control r then move so that we could actually um have a support on that area um actually we can make use of the windows and stick it here uh i think we don't need to create the window so I could just delete it so you know control alt shift and click press X dissolve vertices uh, that was a bad idea um, X dissolve edges shift Z right so let's press 3 and delete this uh, faces Right. Then we have to fill the hole. So select one of the edge, press F. Right. Then uh, press 3 for faces. Box select, X. Okay. Then select one of the edges, press 2, press F. 
All right, so I actually made an error, so uh, here we go. So I'm going to select this edge, press F, so that we'll be able to uh, create a interior wall. Right. Oops. So for this part, click two of the edges, press F. Then uh, fill hole, right? So F, right? All right. So next, uh, I'm just going to fix this because I think I dragged it um, out. So just like this. All right. So uh, what I can do now here is. Duplicate the window so I could put it I can put it on the second floor so shift D Alright, so let us try and fix the window. Okay. Alright, so instead of the window, why don't we just fix the the floor? No, I think we I made an overshoot so anyway let me select these windows shift z so we can see it put it down so the ceiling i think is a bit too a bit too high All right, let me just uh, fix the floor all right then uh, select this ceiling and that one so that it fits should see save right let's uh, copy this then press 3 Let me just fix this side. All right, so let me just add the um, those two doors and side windows okay so let's try and copy this shift D all 
Alright. Shift Z so we can see it. So we need to create a smaller door. Right? So I'm going to select the first door. Then I'm going to fit it somewhere around here. Then duplicate it. So Shift D. Put it around here. Alright, but I have to click this um, left uh, left door so that it can slide. Okay. Then uh, we can also get this uh, panel so that it will be able to slide. So shifting. Then move it up. Press one. Okay. Um, then we need to make adjustments on the sliding panel. Then I'm going to uh, rotate this. Okay. So press R, um, Z, 90 degrees. Okay. Then press 1. And stick it here. Press 3 so we can align it perfectly. Alright. So there are um like two windows on that part so shift d okay. then there's i think there's a wall there so it's not solidly a um a glass panel so um what we can do is we can actually just um, you know, copy this um, face and create a wall out of it. So um, tab, press D, select the face, shift D, okay, then uh, press P by selection, then click that face so it's a copy of that particular face then we have to go to um, object transform uh, set origin sorry set origin to geometry press tab all right then extrude and stick it to the wall like so tab so now we have here windows a glass window and a a wall right so save right so this particular material i'll select this press l then go to materials the material would be all right so it's just a ma basic material um let me delete and just choose the standard material okay all right so this is how it actually looks like okay so there's a black pillar somewhere around here right so let me just add a floor so shift a S and drag so that we could actually see the ground okay all right then uh, save then let's go to the next video